All right, Liverpool fans, how is it going? Today is Monday, the 28th of July, 2014. So, as you all know, Dayan Lovren, this level, uh, Southampton defender, um, has been confirmed. Uh, the transfer to Liverpool has been confirmed last night for £20 million. Pounds. First defensive signing of the season for Liverpool. I always said that Day and Lovren uh, is a good player, not a bad player, but uh, a bit overpriced in my opinion. But we'll have to see what happens, guys. If it if he turns out to be the leader and the powerful defender that Brendan Rodgers is hoping for, then uh, very positive, very good. We'll have to see what happens. Anyway, it's confirmed now, and uh, don't think there was any way back for him uh, to Southampton. He made his uh, desire to join Liverpool very, very clear. Uh, but it's done, it's done. So uh, Liverpool have bought uh, a new centre back. Uh, we'll have to see with uh, whom Dayan Lovren plays now. Uh, he had, to be fair to him, a very good season for Southampton uh, last year. Uh, wasn't so um, consistent when he was at Lyon in France. I used to watch him a little bit because, again, I'm from France and I have some friends who are fans uh, of Lyon, uh, the French club in France. And uh, they said that uh, he was a bit touch and go at Lyon, you know, uh, capable of the best and also the worst. Let's hope uh, his best days are ahead for Liverpool. Anyway, he had a very good season, to be fair to him, like I'm telling you, uh, for Southampton. And uh, it is true that Liverpool do lack a leader, uh, someone who is talkative, who will shout uh, instructions, uh, a bit like Jamie Carragher. Uh, none of Sacco, Aga, Skirtel, or even all the rest of the defenders are talkative, are leaders. And uh, the same problem can be said about Simon, Mi Simon Mignoli also. He was a very good shot stopper, a very good keeper. Still young, still got to improve, but uh, not very much of a leader also, Mignoli. But uh, time is on his side, Mignoli. Uh, it was interesting to note that Pepe Reina wasn't even on the bench uh, for the preseason game against Olympiacos uh, last night. I think the relations have completely deteriorated between Pepe Reina and Brendan Rodgers. They are being both professional, uh, not uh, showing in public. I think they're dislike for each other, but clearly. Uh, I don't think uh, there's much uh, compassion or love between Brendan Rodgers or, or Pepe Reina. Now, Pepe Reina, m magnificent, terrific servant for Liverpool. But it's fair to say that his last two years, he made some costly mistakes. And I think Pepe Reina was quite vocal about... Uh, uh, um, when uh, Liverpool were looking for another manager after Kenny Dalglish was sacked. I think Pepe Reina didn't hide his preference for Rafael Benitez and this, isn't, this didn't, didn't go too well with Brendan Rodgers, which is natural, you know. But anyway, they are professional, they are res respectful towards each other, but I don't think we all know that there, there isn't any future left for Pepe Reina at the club. It's a shame in the sense that Pepe Reina, I think, is still very much better than Brad Jones, for, for instance. But uh, Mignole is still young. We'll have to see what happens. The other breaking news, as you all know, Loic Remy failed his medical, which is quite amazing, quite conflicting also. I wouldn't go as far as saying that uh, there's a conspiracy theory or, or what behind this. I would think that it's the truth, especially that... Loic Remy does have a track record of failed medicals at Marseille or at another club. He seems to have an issue with his heart 
which is a shame for the player, the person. But uh, what is uh, a bit strange is that uh, all the reports, I think he flew to Boston uh, last week, at the start of uh, last week, and it was, they were all stating, I think even from information from the club, that the medical was done and it was only minor paperwork issues. But they've suddenly changed. Uh, I'm not saying that Liverpool are lying. Don't get me wrong again, some of you there. But uh, it's quite a coincidence though that, uh, as you all know, uh, Fabio Borini is, is, uh, is, is refusing to join Sunderland for £14 million, pounds, which is a great, great offer. I don't think we'll ever, never, ever get another uh, offer like this for Fabio Borini. Uh, and also at the same time, unfortunately, Adam Lallana got injured also, as you all know, out for a minimum of four to six weeks, it would seem. We'll definitely miss the start of the season now. And uh, is it a case of Liverpool re re-evaluating their transfer targets, their financial budget or whatever? It's very how things change quickly, by the way, don't they? Last, last week, less than uh, 10 days ago, I was so happy and telling you that uh, getting rid of Borini for £14 million pounds and bringing in Loic Remy at £8.5 million pounds was really, really a good deal financially and also on the pitch also because for me, Loic Remy uh, is much better than Fabio Borini. Now we are stuck with an injured Borini and uh, the Loic Remy deal is off. The other thing that worries me a little bit, but uh, not that much because we still have a full month left before the transfer window uh, ends. Brendan Rodgers came out once again and said that they won't panic buy, which is a good thing. You shouldn't panic buy. But uh, we are not even in August and he's already starting to talk about January, the January transfer window. Now this is, uh, this actually makes me panic a little bit because <laughs> this transfer window isn't over yet. And if we start the season with only Ricky Lambert, Borini and Daniel Sturridge as uh, our striking options, I will be very, very worried. Uh, I would hope that it's only a tactical thing to talk like this or whatever by Brandon Rogers, but and in any case, also, I would assume that the Liverpool are still trying very hard now to find another striker because Liverpool need another striker. We cannot count on Ricky Lambert and Fabio Borini. We are only, by the way, at the time of speaking, one Daniel Sturridge injury away from starting the season with only Ricky Lambert as our striker because Borini is injured. Suarez is gone. Aspas is gone. Not that... Aspas and Borini would have made much of a difference. But uh, the amazing thing is that once again, the money, the Champions League, so many games coming coming up for Liverpool this season and starting the season with only Sturridge, Lambert and Borini uh, would be unacceptable for me, surely. And uh, there must be other options. Uh, you all know that Liverpool were trying, were evaluating the targets before going for Lloyd Remy. It was Wilfried Bonny, who is a good player also, but uh, I think the 20 or 25 million pound price tag uh, scared off Liverpool by, by, by Swansea. And uh, uh, reports, some reports from various papers are saying that uh, Liverpool won't go back for Wilfried Bonny. There's this French uh, striker winger, Lacazette, uh, at Lyon, uh, again. Uh, I've watched him a few times. He scored 23, 23 goals, I think. Yes, uh, more than 20 goals, anyway, last season for Lyon. I watched him quite a few times. He's still very young, not even 23, uh, by the way. Uh, but he, ha he doesn't have the experience of Loic Remy in the Premier League. This is the only issue. And he, I, I think he's obviously cheaper and younger than Wilfried Boney. And he's, he's a good player though. He still has youth, again, youth and potential on his side. Uh, he's quick, skillful. I mean, 
Lacazette can play also as a winger, has the speed and the skill. Wilfried Bonny is mainly a pure number nine. And I can't see Bonny playing on the wing, for instance. And the profile, Brendan Rodgers keep talking about, keeps talking about the profile. It would seem uh, is these kind of versatile players who can play in more than one position. Um, so Lacazette, I think, would be a good signing. It would be a good bet, especially I think that he will cost about 18 or maybe between 15 and 18 million pounds. It would seem is the asking price from Lyon. Uh, so we'll have to see what happens guys uh, let me know what you think uh, which players would you like Liverpool to go for now that the Loic Remy deal is uh, is dead uh, would you be happy if Liverpool do not buy anybody in the striking department before the start of the season and what about the fullbacks uh, and the strange thing also is that, um, well, it doesn't change much in the sense that, again, that it's a loan deal straight back to Lille. I'm talking obviously about Divock Origi. Hasn't been announced yet. Does he have a problem with his medical or what? Who knows? But uh, Origi, very good youngster, also impressed me at the World Cup, like I told you. But I think it's, there's no rush. In the sense that, uh, in any case, uh, he won't be joining Liverpool before the 2015-16 season. He's loaned back straight to Lille in France again. Uh, but uh, quite strange that uh, it hasn't been announced yet. Well, there's no rush, like I said. Um, so, again, guys, let me know what you think. Uh, which players would you like Liverpool to go for? And... Uh, I catch up with you soon. And what about the fullbacks? Uh, no more news about Bertrand or Moreno, or whatever, and the right back position also. Now, just uh, before switching off, I watched the preseason game uh, last night against Olympiakos. Uh, watched the like uh, Markovic and Emre Can. I'm rich and so far, to be fair, like I said, nothing spectacular, but uh, quite effective, uh, very calm in possession and quick. Nothing spectacular, but uh, being in his position, uh, quite promising. Lazar Markovic did nothing particularly wrong, but nothing particularly extremely exciting either. But it's still early days, it's still about fitness. Uh, I already knew about this anyway, like I told you, you, you saw flashes of dribbling skills from, from Markovic, very quick and good dribbling skills, but uh, the finishing, uh, he's got to work on his finishing. Uh, I told you that for me he's a bit lightweight also, but he's still young, I think he still has to grow uh, in strength and in uh, weight, but uh, we'll have to see. Uh, very positive to see Ryan Sterling getting on the score sheet and Daniel Sturridge. He's our main man now. And uh, all right, guys, I leave you there. So let me know what you thought uh, about this uh, failed little Loi Grammy transfer. And let me know who would you like Liverpool to go for now in a realistic way. What did you think about Brendan Rodgers saying that uh, he would not hesita hesitate to? wait until the January transfer, transfer window if he doesn't get the, the right type of player. I hope that it's only a tactical tactical plan to, to speak like this and he doesn't uh, believe what he's talking about because uh, we badly need a striker guys and also full backs now but uh, we'll have to see what happens. All right. Take care, I'll leave you there and leave your comments. Please subscribe. Thank to all, thanks to all the new subscribers, by the way. Really appreciate it, guys. And I'll speak to you soon. Take care. You'll never walk alone, guys. Bye.